Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips, and today we are going to be looking at the golf swing of Nelly Corda and addressing some things that I believe every golfer can learn from just watching and observing the swing of Nelly Corda. So to start off with something that's fairly obvious and that a lot of people really love about Nelly Corda's swing is the tempo, which is just as smooth as butter, so deliberate in the takeaway. Um, obviously, when you look at someone like Nelly Corda, you think of this fluid golf swing that just, it seems so athletic. And it almost seems like when you take away the club at that speed, you have no choice but to be in a very, very good position at the top of the backswing. And that's understandable. I think a lot of people who get in trouble uh, in transition are people who rush the takeaway too much. You look at how slow Nelly Corda is, it allows her at the top of the backswing to have a, a you know that slightly bowed wrist, which has worked for her well. Um, because she's not rushing anything, the club face position at the top of the backswing is ideal for her motion. And I think a lot of that is created through proper swing rhythm. So if there's one specific thing that you can take away from Nelly Corda's swing, a lot of people can certainly benefit from the slowing down of the backswing just to really put yourself in the best position possible um, at the top and through transition. Another thing that I think is underrated about Nelly Corda swing that we can see from a caddy view video is uh, she's very solid rotationally. I wouldn't say that she has this huge shoulder turn or, or hip turn that someone like Justin Thomas or Dustin Johnson would have, but she really is able to stay within herself. You know, she doesn't hit the ball a mile, but with her consistency of striking, you don't need to do so. Um, another thing is if we look at her uh, hip rotation, it is just that. It's very rotational. A lot of people who lack rotation or have rotation on the lower side, they tend to have a lot of hip sway or what uh, some people refer to as lateral swing movement, which is when um, you know, you're know you rotating and swaying in the golf swing, which can lead it to a lot of issues. If you're swaying a lot in the golf swing, what that's gonna do is it's gonna change your low point control, meaning that's when uh, your swing is at its lowest point. It's important to keep that consistent because that's gonna be just after you strike the ball, especially with irons and wedges. So having the ability to control that low point uh, is crucial. So anything that we can keep uh, standard and consistent throughout the golf swing, we want to do that. Uh, the, the, the elimination of sway in the golf swing is one thing we can do. And then another thing that all great golfers do is keep your ball positioning consistent and keep those other aspects of the golf swing that can be variable, keep them consistent. Another thing that has led to a lot of Nelly Corda's success that can be overlooked is her release pattern. She has gone on record in a few interviews, I think she did an interview a while ago with golf.com, where she talked about the concept of trapping your right hand. Um, and by that, that's uh, basically alluding to the concept of releasing the golf club. A lot of people uh, who struggle with drawing the golf ball or have a slice, they release that right wrist and they don't trap that right hand. Uh, it's, it's too late. If you're releasing that right wrist too late, you can't close off the club face because when you look at a right wrist, that right wrist, as it moves and releases the club, that directly influences the club face. So if you're releasing it too late, you're having an open club face. Uh, that open club face is fine if it's in moderation and you want to hit a fade, but if it's not in moderation, you're going to slice the golf ball. Uh, you're going to lose a lot of distance and you actually might hit the ball a little bit too high at times. So that closed club face and that release pattern that Corda has that seems so well controlled, especially with irons, uh, one of the better ball strikers on the LPGA Tour. That release pattern is perfect uh, for the draw that she hits, and she can also hit a fade. She does turn, on, turn to the fade on the golf course, but looking at that in slow motion, uh, that's something to really ingrain in your mind, just those two frames of right before and then right after how that release comes through. This is something that is very difficult to work on. I would recommend um, working on it pretty consistently. It's not something that you can say, hey, I'm gonna work on my release today and then four weeks later work on it again and it's obviously very important to film it from um, a number of angles uh, you can see the freeze frames in quarter swing of that release it's 
it's almost impeccable how perfect her timing is with it uh, throughout all of these swings that she's posted to her Instagram. Finally, we can just take a little look at the footwork of Nelly Corda, which is something that doesn't get addressed all the time. But um, if, you, if you look at this caddy view, at impact, that left heel is off the ground, uh, which isn't terribly unusual. We've seen it a lot from uh, Justin Thomas. Rory does it with his bigger drives. Um, but that concept of jumping off the ground is um, an extension of her swing. It allows her to uh, get that left foot through impact a little bit better and it can really create just dynamite power if you can really utilize the leveraging of the ground and jump and extend that leg through impact straighten it out that is how a lot of golfers generate power uh, especially important for golfers who are smaller in stature may not have the the you know J dustin johnson or john rom sized bodies uh, but they can generate power through extending that front leg you can see a Nelly Corda swing. It straightens out right as she makes impact with the ball. That's a great way to leverage the ground. It's so prominent in all the best smaller golfers who have powers swing. Uh, Ju Justin Thomas, can he really explodes off that front leg. Rory McIlroy does the same, and it really can help someone like Nelly Corda, who has all of the fundamentals, the, the great rhythm, the, the hands through impact. All of that great stuff is great, but... Can you get the ball really far out there on that alone? No, you need to be able to leverage the ground, especially with someone like Corda, who doesn't have crazy lower body rotation. All of that power from the lower body comes with that leading leg. I hope you've learned a thing or two about the swing of Nelly Corda. There's certainly so much to love. It's a great swing to watch. The swing has obviously performed super well for her, having a pretty decorated career up to now. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If there are any observations that you have questions on or any observations of your own that I did not mention, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating down below. It helps YouTube show this type of content to more people who will find it helpful. It also helps us here at Scratch Golf Tips uh, see what kind of content you're enjoying so we can tailor future content to your needs. If you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the Scratch Golf Tips channel to see all of our future uploads. And if you want to see more content like this of player analysis, we have a player analysis page or a playlist on our page that you can uh, go through and look at all of those videos. Thank you all very much for watching, play well, and take care.